We're going to look at graver sharpening now. now. It's quite difficult to see a little graver, so I've made a wooden mock-up of a, of a, of a square graver. Uh, this would be about 2mm to 3mm. The ones I use are standard 8th uh, inch square steel. Now, the, for use on steel, the main face is cut off at 45 degrees and then there are two little heels on the bottom here which are ground very small uh, a total length of about a quarter to a half a millimeter and those are ground with the tool held horizontal parallel to the stone so we're going to look at how you do that this is the equipment I use I've got a power hone which I picked up from a skip outside the university uh, and it's got two I've got two diamond hones from GRS. There's one at 1200 grit and one at 260 grit, which is for the rough shaping of the, um, of, the of the main face. Right, um, and they, they sit on the hone, power hone. And here's a swinging arm which has got a 45 degree, what's well set to 45 degree at the moment, um, arm that I can use to hold the tool against the stone at the right angle. And I've got a little jig here that I can just check that it's running at the right angle. So the first job is to hone the main face. Um, let's assume that I'm going to do it rough, so I've put the 260 on here. And so I'm going to take a graver here that needs sharpening and I will turn that on and that's just held into a triangular groove in the in the guide there and moved across the surface of the hone to get my uh, 45 degree face. So having done that that'll throw up little burrs on the side which I'll take off on this on this stone. This stone is an extra extra fine DMT stone. Um, it feels almost entirely smooth. When you get it it's a bit rough but after you've used it a while it's, it feels like there's nothing there but there is actually. Very fine. So we just take the burrs off there. Then we'll chop over um, to the 1200 and put a better finish on that tool. So we're going to hold that in there. That's given me that's given me my 45 degree uh, face just get rid of those little burrs on there again now we're ready to put the heels that I showed you these these little ones now the amount of metal that's got to be removed this is a quarter of a millimeter long the amount of metal that's got to be removed from these two faces is is very very small so you can't use a power hone to do it because you just take too much metal away. We could use a, a, an awfully expensive ceramic lap with diamond paste on it, but I don't do that because I haven't got a guide that does it well. And so I always do those by hand. So we're going to put those two little heels on. Now the, the tool is held horizontal to the stone and cocked up at about at 15 degrees. So we're going to put those very small faces on and put two faces on. The, the name of the game is to get them identical and small enough. So this is what we do. We've got a little rotary, uh, a little gizmo here for running on the stone and we'll put the graver in there. We have another jig which is set to give us that 15 degree angle so we can check it out against the, the angle of the graver and adjust the, the amount of graver that sticks out beyond the end of that to give us our 15 degrees. Having done that I can then set a jig here. That jig is jigged up right to give me 15 degrees. So I'm now set to take those heels down. Uh, in order to get them the same 
size I've really got to be very careful that I use the same amount of movement on the stone for both sides so I'm going to move that three inches and then I'm going to do this five times and I'm going to change it over check it with the jig do that three inches do this five times and that should be uh, my heels put on there yeah, I can see them there just uh, and they should be even and they should be perfect you'll notice that on on this tool unlike the the dummy here I've actually just put it on a coarse grind wheel and taken some of the metal off here so when I sharpen this main face I don't have so much work to do uh, you have to be very careful when you're doing this grinding not to overheat the tool keep dipping it in the water keep it cool now